time for us to start the two Illyrias area, which will bring this upon the map. Um, anybody that happens to just Google two Illyrias and you haven't done the city yet, just bear in mind that we have already been and done that area because it's slightly easier than this one. Um, obviously, the, the playlist for the full walkthrough will be in the pinned comment, so if you guys want to see that, feel free. Uh, we're obviously going to be using some of the tools that we've got there. For example, the ability to be able to use the zipline to get up this way. Uh, this is mostly a shortcut. We are going to go ahead and clear all this area out here. But just want to show you guys that if you do want to kind of nip on past a lot of the enemies here, you don't have to fight absolutely everything if you don't want to. But because we want to clear everything out and we want to make sure that we defeat every enemy at least once, we will be uh, doing everything. So, I'm going to come on over here, defeat this guy. Uh, I, I can't remember if we faced a forger already. These are called forgers. Oh, we had the unstable forger, didn't we? Of course, everybody should have faced at least one of these by now. We're going to try and uh, oh, capitalize on our ability to freeze it. Oh, I'm frozen again. Let's get out of there. It's worth noting as well that <clears throat> um, as you progress the game, the enemies will change in the zones. Which I didn't realize until I was streaming last night. Some of the enemies around here can um, change into some significantly larger, more devastating foes. So. Uh, just th bear that in mind as we as we are coming through zones. If you've completed things that I haven't, or I've done things you haven't, things can be different. It's good to know. So this is this ends up being a pretty handy shortcut if we uh, happen to be defeated. I'll come over this way there. Get another one in the uh, in the bag. Here you. Excuse me. Okay, right. Let's get this hits on. I like to listen to the knockdown, get in there into the dance of death. Get out the way. Oh, why have we got connections and disconnections? Oh man. I shouldn't stay near that. <laughs> that was foolish. Luckily, the next checkpoint isn't actually far from the first one. Now, something to take care of around here is a lot of enemies do have um, ice damage, which is why I wanted to do this after the fire one because. It just allows us to um, power up a little bit before we start taking this area on. Um, thereby making it a little bit less painful. You know what, I just tried to jump over the hedge there. Nice. <laughs> I thought I had to double jump still. A little premature. I get that. It's interesting how uh, second nature some of the traversal abilities become once we, uh, once we unlock them. So, we're going to decide to take the left side here so that we can just clear out everything else. We don't want to miss out on any of the any of the pickups that we can get. So we're just going to want to come around here a little slow. Probably shouldn't have sprinted in the first place. We could have aggroed this, but we'll take this on from behind. We'll continue to try the sneaky here. Um, some of it you can't really sneak up on. There's going to be stuff over that side that we just are going to be uh, from the front of. There should be sneak down here. Yeah, there you are. I'm going to sneak up on you, can we? It's a shame. Lightning claws, so be careful of this. Fulmination increases the damage we take each hit from the enemy. Um, obviously, the, the major difference here is this will now have a parry. It will parry more often than the, uh, the sword ones. And obviously, it has a zap instead of a... Um, Instead of a flame. Big difference on that is you want to go to try and go to the side rather than backwards. Um, so just be just be careful of that. We could still freeze this one though if we wanted, but we, we don't need to waste the bullets like that. Ouch. Trip me over. I suppose they drop bullets, we could have used bullets on that really. We're looking, you've got loads of heal over time. Hello, you! So we need to start being careful of these. These will start getting the ability to um, add ice or fire to their, um, I guess you call them baubles. Get in there quickly. It just does not care what you use on it. Unless you use ice. Uh, when they're ice ones and they have resistance to ice, these become much, much more troublesome.
pass you down. Okay, let's you, 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 hello. I was thinking it was in a different place for a second. But we are not where I thought it was. No! Don't be wanting that. Just check all of these. Pick a, uh, a systematic way to just check everything for the loot. Sneak just that. Can we get behind you from this angle? No. That would have been lovely. So as you can see, these ones recover much, uh, much quicker and are more aggressive than the fire ones. Oh! Luckily that didn't count out really. We're just a tad under-damaging, in my opinion. Which means the next point will likely be in uh, agility again. Like this. Hello, you demon. Okay, we don't need you. Right, slow down here, we don't aggro stuff. So we come up. Oh, this is back to the beginning. Aha! So, now they've looped around, let's just grab the loot at the front because otherwise we're going to forget about it. We need to break the barrels. There's a sack we need to get. Just over here. I like to go this way so they're going into the steps. Wait a minute, is it going to reach? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I did that with a double jump before, so... Need the double jump to reach that. before we can do it. That was a shame. I believe. No? I thought there was a snake up here. Guess not. Fulmination resistance. In case you, uh... Wanted to not be getting zapped so much. Right, so that's everything there. I don't think there's a... No. So when you come down to this uh, shoreline over that way later on, there are a lot of, like, um, breakable entrances we can do. Some, some we can do now, but some we also can't do until we get, um, like, a kick-the-wall-down ability, which is strange we can't already do that, but... They decided to lock that behind later content. So that's kind of the first half done. The good thing about this is if you wanted, you could rest um, and then not have to deal with this left half before progressing to this side. Um, but the next checkpoint, can't really see it, but you can see where those um, uh, lit up windows are. That's where the next checkpoint is, so it's really not too far. We'll sneak around for this. Interesting trap, because it has no bait. If you're, gonna tra if you're gonna trap me, give me a prize, please. Yeah, I really need, I really need more damage. <laughs> like, damn, I really need more damage. Yeah, no, no bait. Like, you come over here to look. Oh, there's loot there, and then it gets you. It's, uh, it's an interesting trap. Uh, so here, I like to come over this way. Cast. We can aggro this over. Where are you? Excuse me, sir. I'd like your attention. Oh, man. Shouldn't have got caught up like that, really. That was bad. Get out of the way, get out of the way! I knew he was going to do that kick. Right, 
two down. Now then, if you're still hearing aggro music, just come back a little bit. Uh, there's going to be other enemies that we kind of just want to sneak up on. And we're taking that one out there because it makes it a little bit easier to do. I'm just going to come on around here. Over this way. And we can get this one. So far so good, right? Uh, that's everything there. I don't think there's loot on these steps, but we'll double check. I know we've got the loot at the gate. That's path progression. That goes behind another enemy. We probably shouldn't sprint around so much, really. Let's get him first. We don't need to aggro. Just through noise. Just come slowly around this corner. You don't want to be... Oh. I guess I was wrong. I'm sure there was another one looking down, at, looking down those steps. Must have got to mix it up somewhere else. Oops. Uh, this is looking rather dangerous. Let's... And the list with care, shall we? That's you froze. Let's get you down now. There we are. And out. Freeze them all out. Okay. I guess I just got that messed up with a bit earlier. Never mind. Modulius Chius. It's done, it's done, it's done. Yeah, it's just the same way. I trust that. <laughs> Flying there. Okay, so. Um, we are basically at the checkpoint now. We're on 12 minutes. It's pretty good. That's okay. Um, so, before you rest at this one, just make sure you've got everything you want out of the previous area. For whatever reason, I find it more difficult to go backwards from here than to go forwards. Um, See, so yeah, I just recommend making sure that you've got everything you want out of that area that we've just done. Now, if you are following the way that I'm doing it, which... Obviously, if you are following the video, you may well need to do that. Uh, we've got two choices in how we deal with this area because we have the zip line. We can decide to skip a lot of these enemies and go along the rooftops. However, I'm going to choose not to do that because we still do want to be fighting enemies. So we'll be uh, we'll be getting that on as we as we move forward. Otherwise, we just are not going to gain the uh, the levels we want for more comfortable combat, and that's realistically what we want to, what we want to be doing. Uh, there are going to be periods where I like run through areas and I'll be like, hey, you guys should probably fight all of this. Uh, and I may well not do that. I haven't really said much about this enemy. Uh, it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, generally speaking, dodging to its left is its weakness. Probably when it does the shield bash. Um, and attacking from the front, it will uh, it'll try to parry you and do a counter attack. So just, uh, just take care of that. Continue moving around. We can level now, actually. We could go ahead and do that before we move forward, rather than rather than chancing it. I do really want that extra little bit of agility. Building up the immobilization on the on the flurry of hits that we can do um, is more effective than you might think. And that's plus three. Good number. Are we able to upgrade stuff? I can't even remember what we have available right now. Mm, no, we need a business block, which we should get in this area. Now that I think about it, so upgrading that shouldn't be a problem. We may upgrade that. We're still just using it for affliction, though. No, we're good. We are good. Okay, let's, let's put you back down. Let's see if this has helped. I mean, <laughs> it's already looking like it's going up faster. We didn't get immobilization on you last time. Look at that. Just, yeah, okay. Immediate difference. Um, as we put more and more points into that, it's just going to be better. Now, 
It's probably gonna make the video a little longer, but I should include going across there at some point because um, otherwise there's gonna be loot that we don't get, and that's not ideal, is it? I just don't know how we're gonna fit all that in into these kind of shorter form videos I like to do. Can you please not? No, that's down it. Okay, so uh, at this point we also have two choices. We have this way, it's going to have a load of dogs. Where are they? Now we're going to clear it out just so we get the loot, but I'm not going to suggest that we actually progress this way, and you'll see in a second why. Oh man. <laughs> they could have had me there. <laughs> I <laughs> got lucky there. They didn't they didn't pin me, they could have pinned me in. Okay, so just to make sure we've got everything. That's gonna be used later. That's gonna be used later. Let's move down there. Essence of Valiant Spirit. I'm trying to save a load of this up so we can actually get a decent power up at some point. So if we just peek our head over here. We should see one of the lancers in the distance. Um, and that's just basically going to attack you. And below, there are two of the lance guys with the shield, which you're going to see in a second. We're going to have to go through that zone anyway. But if we choose to come this way instead, we can actually pick the ambush apart better. It's unusual for the uh, the closer route to be the better one, but it's just, uh, it's just how it ends up. Let's grab that. So, we're going to come on and grab, where are we? You. Hello, you. Would you like to say hi, sir? Would you? Would you like to say hi? You are much more resistant to that frost, aren't you? Haven't tried freezing them before. Works, though. That doesn't work, that doesn't work quite as well, does it? I guess the, uh, the Whirl of Blades doesn't quite have the, uh, the immobilization build-up. That normal attacks have. Uh, yeah, enemies everywhere. About that. Out of sacks. Yeah. So now we've got the second one. Again, we're going to do something rather similar. Come on, you. I don't really want to freeze you. I'd like you to come over, actually. Come on. We're not. We're not falling into that trick. No, no. That'll mean that when you come over this way now, you just deal with you and room. This guy is a frost guy, if I remember rightly. He's still affected by my affliction, that's interesting. I don't think it would be. Oh, got me with a good pick there. Oh, and I'm froze. You could have had me. Snooze you lose, kid. these little scenes that are happening behind the doors, it's cool. It's very Bloodborne-esque, apart from like, can, can take it to a little bit of a different level. And more of it as well, which is, I think, kind of welcome for me. Uh, yeah, we can't go there yet. So this bit, we're actually going to do um, a bit of a run-by, so just to sh try and show you guys, because these are aggro pretty much as soon as we go in front of the door. We've got one cannon guy there, one cannon guy there, and then below is the pop boys. There is a path to the left. We're going to clear that after we've already run through. What the plan is going to be is to just get in here, dodge as fast as you can, jump up this. Because right here we have checkpoint. So we'll go ahead, we're going to reset them. So 
not run because I don't aggro it. Now we can go in there and get that first one ambushed. The other one will aggro. However, uh, the pot boy doesn't aggro unless we like really get make a lot of loud noise or it comes particularly close to us during its patrol. So we get a fairly decent. Let's aggro now. We get a fairly decent amount of time to deal with this. We can come over here and loot this, and we can bring the pot boy over this way so that we don't have to fight it whilst we are uh, being shot at, which just overall is way better for me. choose to do the craziness on you. We're going to freeze you again instead. Just because this ambush is uh, kind of nasty, I'm going to use a bit of resource on it. Now this one shouldn't be anywhere near as bad. That should just make that ambush much easier to handle for everybody. I'm hoping anyway. Right, so, uh, that done, that done. So now I want to go down here, this bit. And you'll find it feels like a bit like a dead end until we go to the building that was just near the checkpoint, so. Hello, you probably could have tried sneaking on you. I didn't really try stealthing you before. It shouldn't be necessary. Using the uh, cooldown system really is almost required, right? Actually waiting for stamina to regenerate is really tough. It's a cast iron, it's not bismuth. We don't want that. Yeah, that deals with all this for now. Doing this. Hello, loot. I'll take you. Oops, let me up there. We're on 22 minutes. So we'll do one more thing, just because it saves us some time. In the next episode, we're going to go grab a quick weapon. Should we have to get around for the weapon. Just around the back of here. Leather halberd. It's like a... Well, it's basically the same as the habit we already have, apart from it has a shield instead of the gun. But only it has slightly different scaling, so it's, it's an interesting uh, difference. It's not too bad. Either way, that's going to be the end. I'm obviously going to upgrade my ability to heal, because we've got the... I can't remember what it's called now. Whatever that's called. Lavoisier Catalyst. And then in the next episode, we'll visit the house. It's probably going to be me st skip starting with a skip of um, cutscene, and then we'll be heading through the gate.